When the game started, there was energy and enthusiasm. But don't be fooled, behind those waving towels, also plenty of anxiety. The players seemed just as nervous. And he can't make the play. They've got Chu hung up, and then they throw it away. The first two innings, full of mistakes. And it gets by. Only a bizarre base running error by the Texas Rangers prevented them from building up a huge lead. Still, the Blue Jays hung on and eventually even took the lead. But soon, the game was tied and heading into extra innings. The tension felt as far away as London, where Canadian fans were watching and worrying. Nervous, man, nervous. It's a big game, big game. We gotta win this one. I've already backed them at the bookies, so they better win it. In New York, Jays fans shared their stresses. Excited, nervous, anxious. Those are all the feelings that I have now. And both benches empty. In Toronto, in the 13th inning, tensions on the field escalated to the point where it appeared the two teams might even come to blows. Then, in the 14th, the Rangers went ahead by two. Oh, yeah. Wow. The Blue Jays couldn't answer and lost. Fans filing out, downcast. I flew from San Francisco for this game. Um, yeah, just a little disappointed. Some repeated the popular superstition that a pop star jinxed the Jays by performing in their stadium. It's Taylor Swift. It is Taylor Swift. Whatever the reason, Canada's only Major League Baseball team is now headed to Texas on the brink of elimination. There's hope. We have hope. It isn't over, but one more loss, and it will be. And the fans with the long faces know the odds are now long, too. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.